Videos in this module, we are going to discuss what are the solutions for exercise 2 in congruency of triangles. So here, first one, what is our question is, what additional information is required to show these two triangles are congruent to each other and they are satisfying the SAS rule. So what is meant by SAS rule is, so SAS, in any triangle, we should take first side after that we have to take adjacent angle on that side only it should be present that angle then again we should proceed with that another side so with these two triangles here so already angles are given so we have to take here angle already given in this question so let's take angles are triangles g h j triangle RST. Okay, these two triangles let's take. So let's take angles are given from here and angle T. So angle H and angle T they are given. The two, so one angle we got. Let's take HJ and T is and somewhat smaller than GH and RT. So let's take first side. HJ is congruent to ST. So HJ is congruent to ST and one side is finished. After that we need to check. First we will go with side like this. After that angle we need to proceed with the angle. Angle H is equal to angle T. Then HG in this direction from angle only we have to come down. So HG is congruent to, it should be TR. Then for H, T, for J, yes. So what you can say is, it satisfying the SAS congruency criterion. So this is the additional information in order to show that two triangles are congruent to each other. And so the two will be satisfying SAS congruency rule. Next one. So our second question is, so here they are given some villages like P, A, M and B. So M is a village that will be located in between of same distance from A and B and P and Q. It is a midpoint for the all the villages. So it is, the dist it is located at the same distance from all the villages. P is the village, A is the village, all the let letters which are uh, indicated with um, uh, sorry villages are indicated with letters so here what we need to do is so let's take these two triangles are equal so let's take triangle p a m p a m and triangle q b m these two triangles so it is located at uh, midpoint of both the uh, both the villages means here 3 kilometers means BM is 3 means AM is also 3, 3 kilometers. Then it is given that 6 kilometers from here and it is PM is also 6 kilometers. Then what you can say is here you can take vertically opposite angles, angle M and angle M are equal. So here in this triangle angle M and in this triangle angle M are equal. Then what you can say is by SAS congruency rule by SAS congruency criterion in triangle PMA and triangle QMB. So here PM is congruent to Q M then angle M is equal is congruent to angle M that is equal to each other congruent is nothing but equal in dimension then M A is congruent to M B M A is congruent to M B then so what you can now by SAS congruency criteria that two triangles are congruent to each other then all the parts are triangle PMA is congruent to triangle QMB then all the parts are equal then what you can write is AM so QAP is congruent to um, BQ 
So AP is congruent to BQ that BQ is equal to 4 kilometers then AP is also equal to 4 kilometers. So this is 4 kilometer. This is a one way to find the solution but what is another way is simply we will take this and this are parallel to each other then PQ what you can write is PQ is a transversal PQ is transversal transversals and AP and AQ AP and QB are parallel to each other and they are equal than 4 kilometer you can write like this also so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubts please uh, give comment section your comments and please subscribe